The Beaumont Police Department and federal agents are looking for a 33-year-old Hispanic woman from San Antonio. The woman and a male friend were driving from Houston to Louisiana. Police say a man with a gun kidnapped her after the two took a restroom break at the Petro's, Petro Stopping Center off Walden Road. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton spoke with police. He joins us live now from the Petro Stopping Center where all of this unfolded. Justin, how long has this woman been missing? Megan, it's been about 13 hours. It all happened this morning, shortly about 5 a.m. Now, um, police have not yet released her name because they say they haven't notified her family. I talked to her friend. He was the one that was driving the truck, and his name is Ivan Battle. Now, he told me what he said happened early this morning. He says when they pulled up to the Petro Stopping Center, they pulled up for a restroom break. He said his friend went into the restaurant, and when she came back, he saw a man with a gun pointed at them demanding money. He said at that point, he then reached in his pocket to pull out his wallet. Somehow how he got tangled up in his seat belt and fell out of the car. He then ran around to the other side of the car and that's when he found the man with the gun forcing his friend into the driver's seat. He says he then made her drive and they sped off. He says he doesn't know which direction they went and that's when he called the cops. And that was the last time that he saw her. Reporting live in Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Well, Justin, that's quite a bit of stuff that was going on. Was there anyone there to see it? Any witnesses? Well, we talked to the store management earlier today when we got here, shortly after it happened, a few hours after it happened, and they said that no one that was working at that time was here when everything happened this morning. They said that they do have surveillance video, and the police are looking at that to see if they can make any sense out of what happened earlier today. Any updates from police at this time, Justin? I talked to, to police a few minutes ago and they told me right now they've got a couple of tips that they are following up. But other than that, there's no new news to report. So back to you, Megan. Thank you, Justin. Stay with KFDM. We'll bring you more on this story as it develops.